What's happening? What's the deal? Yeah, it's your girl, Lady La La Jean. I'm back on your screen. You know what it is. It's a freshly Monday. And I'm good and I'm great. Look at the smile on my face. Look at the outfit and the hat matching my fit. You can't go wrong when you see me on your screen. But before, if I'm new on your screen, hey, y'all. Been to my fans. What's the deal, cutties? Listen, today's topic of discussion is what is disrespect? What is that meaning? What does that fall into? Why would you feel that someone disrespects you? How could someone disrespect you? Or even how could somebody disrespect you to let you get yourself out of character? I really want to know that. Disrespect from others' mouths. Can words hurt? I really want to know that. Because when I used to was growing up, I was always taught sticks and stones would break my bones, but words would never hurt, right? But in all reality, it always comes to mind, people always want to fight, fuss, and go back and forth about he say, she say stuff, right? Being disrespected out of a young lady's mouth, not young ladies, and males, because I think, let, let's debate, who has a foul mouth? Who disrespect who? I think women disrespect way more than females do. I really think males... They disrespect on the level of uh, violence. Females, we disrespect on the level of what? What? He say, she say, right? Women always want to fight about what someone said to something. Women, we always like to gossip, huh? We always like to run our mouth. We always like to pinpoint or... What could I say? Not even pinpoint. We always like to be in people's business. We some messy, mess, messy motherfuckers, huh? <laughs> but no, like, look, I really want to understand that because everybody got their different, you know, definition of respect. Respect is giving and not earned. Mm. Well, say if you're walking into somewhere and the lady didn't greet you a certain way. She had was she was having a bad day, but you know you didn't know it. She would just say she didn't properly greet you the right way. Some people call that disrespect. A man won't hold your door open when you walking through. He ain't obligated, but some women would call that disrespect. You know what I'm saying? And males, y'all disrespect for these women. Wado, let me understand. I already I'm a woman myself, so I really want to understand. Being disrespectful to women, where do you where do y'all get that at? Where do y'all come to need to disrespect women so hard that a, a woman can't defend themselves with a man verbally? They could, but physically, a man and a woman can't get down being what equal or being fair. I can't go home. I can't. I can't personally. Beat up on my man and be like, oh, fuck it, whoop, 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 whoop. And act like he ain't going to beat up my ass. You feel me? It's stuff like that, I feel like. Women always think that they can do, they can do certain, certain stuff to men that men can't do to them. And I don't, I, I don't think that's right. If I feel like if you lick, if you hit a man, all right, I think a man should hit you back. Don't put your hands on nobody and you ain't going to get hit back as far as women too. That, I, I'm just speaking on in general of just, you know how I'm around con um, content of this this situation of respect. Because respect go a long way. Respect not just verbal, verbally. Respect is verbal. Respect is mental. You got to be mentally to even go through life, if you ain't mentally prepared through the every day you wake up and you ain't right in the head to really put yourself out there to have a good day, you're going to wake up with being disrespectful to somebody. You're going to wake up not having a clue what is going on and you want to be mad. It's okay to be mad. But one thing you need to do is when you mad, when you're having a bad day, still, still at that respect in there because you never know what the next person might be going through. You can have a good, you might be having a good day. So you, you all, all, all due respect, you having a great day. And you run into somebody that don't. 
It's not. They disrespect you verbally. And it make you out of character. It make you want to take it where you... Uh, how can somebody take you out of character with their mouth? If they didn't put their hands on you, if they ain't touching your shit, if they not in your era, in your house, how can somebody really be disrespectful to you? That's what I want to know. And fellas, how can the next kind... I'm going to talk about gang banging because most, most, most males always want to say they disrespected my set. They disrespected what? I'm my sister. That's real. They disrespected my mama. I, those things are, you know, when you really want to disrespect and get violent, those are the topics I can see why men want to really like, you know, hurt or out there to seek and destroy something. But words in general, I don't think, ladies and gentlemen, that some come out of somebody else's mouth to, to have to determine how you feeling. I, I really don't think so. That's the topic today. Like, respect and disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Really sit down on that and, do, and take that as a food for thought of this Monday morning of respect. Don't let everything that comes to... Come, Look, you got me stuttering how I'm trying to get this word out to y'all. Don't let nobody, when I mean nobody, don't let no, nothing that nobody can say ruin your day. Don't let it affect that day. Don't even let it, don't even let it, it might hurt. You know, we all got feelings, you know, but don't let it affect the whole day of the 24 hours you got. Because my granddaddy always told me, it's, it's easy to get in trouble, but it's even harder to get out of. So don't take what nobody else, don't take what nobody say to determine if your freedom is worth it or not. So with that being said, I'll see y'all later. Back at it again.